What's up guys? This is Fonz Really Fell Handed and today we are doing Map Tactics Abbey. This is a, a unique map. Uh, there's definitely some symmetry, sy symmetry uh, involved, but it's not 100% the same on both sides. Uh, I am here with Rugby, and if you will come up to the North Spawn, sir, we are going to get this thing going. And I will talk a little bit about what's going to be in this area. Now, keep in mind, guys, these things I'm telling you is, is how this map is supposed to be run. It doesn't mean it's it's going to be ran that way. Uh, you know, the entire team could run the one line. Don't blame little old me, because <laughs> lemming trains happen. RNG happens. And I, and I believe lemming trains are RNG's way of saying, hey... I'm going to leave it at that. Now, your clickers. A couple different areas, okay? Um, I have seen the clickers on the one line and the eight line. That Those are both very popular. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. This is another good one because you're below the sight lines. And that's why they cut out this little piece right here. Now, and the thing is, guys, if you know where these clickers are, if you know where they're going to post up, then you kind of have a better chance at, you know, defeating them. Uh, there's also going to be a clicker up in here. Uh, pretty much anywhere that around the cap that is recessed, there's going to be clickers, you know, happening. And this is a good location, realistically. I mean, because when you look at this map, this is not a large map. Okay, so moving on. The primary push on this map is going to be your right flank. Why is it the right flank? Well, for one reason there's a lot of cover, uh, but for the, for the other reason is the opposite flank kind of has a, 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 they're missing kind of the cover and the things that make this this flank over here what it is. For one thing, you can kind of go top and bottom here. And the reason this... Oh, I'm about to hit a tank. The reason this is so powerful is once you have your mediums, your lights come in here, you can kind of get up here on top and put fire on the guys in the mid. And the guys in the mid are... Trust me, they're fighting their own battle. They have no idea you're over here. They, you know, you might light up in their screen and then boom, you they get pegged. So... Um, this would be the counterpoint for the guys in the mid. At any rate, this is going to be a, a, a big, big time push point. Don't come down here unless you're in a crunchy tank or you are about that life. Uh, because there's going to be action. The clickers uh, have a few shots in this area uh, that they're going to be scoped in on. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you push up against one of these tanks, just be ready. Hatred is coming towards you. Um, because you're going to have guys firing at you you can't even see. They're going to have guys way back in the back here. I don't know how they do it. Uh, tank Destroyer Sorcery is the only thing I can explain it is. But it happens. Uh, this is going to be kind of where the the opposite push here kind of stalls and splits. You're going to have the Tank Destroyers that fire on you. Uh, somehow they get from this area and fire on you. I don't know. Uh, they need to play the lottery versus shoot at you because that's about the same amount of luck it takes. Uh, now, I'm not necessarily going... I'm going to do the northern spawn, the green spawn first, before I kind of get into this. But this is a, a area of high contention. Uh, let's go ahead and swing around through the middle here. Now, the middle is a is a odd animal, okay? A lot of folks want to take the Abbey itself. They want to race to get into the Abbey. But since they have kind of changed this the center up here, um, it's a bit different. It's, it's definitely a bit different. You have to be very, very cautious because it's not simple like it used to be where it was, you know, it was very difficult to get, you know, proper shots off up here. 
Um, for example, I'm not going to go into a lot of details right now, but, you know, obviously I can see their cap, and that's 418 meters away, which means if I get any closer, I'm going to be spotted, uh, and they're going to put rounds on me. The mid is a strong point, and the reason the mid is a strong point is because you can put fire on both flanks. Now, granted, it's not continuous fire, it's not, you know, you have a long stretch, but you are going to see them if you know what you're looking for you can chip away at them um, now this kind of area up here man I this is not recommended you're way too exposed out here and plus the clicker is just waiting to pull a hole in one now of course you know if things change if you know it's it's in game and you know there's no clickers left there's nobody at the base what have you and you've got free reign ah, yeah absolutely have at it but nowhere near the beginning of the game simply because you will get touched in a very unprofessional way um, now moving on I've seen a lot of folks come down in here when they start their push the issue with this is is People tend to get bogged down in this, and this is the kind of area where your terrain resistance really comes into play, because if you don't have a high terrain resistance, you really get bogged down, you can't maneuver properly. Um, and, and, you know, for vehicles like the IS-7, which has very poor terrain resistance, it's kind of going to affect you, because here's the thing. If the clickers don't set up right, on the one or the eight line they're not going to have a whole whole lot to shoot it uh, so if you're in say a heavy tank or a medium tank even a light tank that that is getting hung up a lot then this is kind of the area where it may be your doom because they're going to you know scope you and then hang out a little bit till after you disappear and then when that you light back up then they're going to take a pot shot at you. And I'm, I'm, I'm hanging on this specifically because it has happened to me so many times. Um, just, you know, you have to be very, very cautious. And, you know, that's kind of always the reason I go over where the clickers are going to be first. Because if you know that, you can make an educated guess um, based on where you need to move to kind of defend against this now another clicker location is going to be right over here they may set over here not often though you don't you kind of limit yourself to this now then tank destroyers are always going to be lined up back here this is the camping aisle right here you're going to have TDs lined up over here and essentially they're waiting to tee off against folks down there on the other side if you are in a light or a medium, a good thing to do is just kind of pull up over here, post up right here, wait till you know your sixth sense goes off, and then just immediately pull out because nobody's going to get a shot at you. You're going to light some stuff up, so on and so forth. Do not go down here early game unless you really want to get back to the garage super quick. You go down there, there's not a lot of cover, a lot of it's destructible, you will die, you will not be remembered. Um, you can, and there's certain spots where you can kind of transition from the flank to the mid fairly easy. And, you know, if you're a crafty tank, you can even get up in here and, and take some shots and so on and so forth. But it's, it's kind of in the details, I just kind of want to show you guys how the map needs to be run and what you need to do to make it happen you know granted if you come out here with a 15 v 15 yes you can be like okay boy we're going to run this map 100 percent perfect uh, okay awesome good job but you know reality it's never going to be like that because your team is going to do what your team wants to do and there's nothing you can do about it so just keep that in mind okay so let's go ahead and run it for the southern flank the red spawn there used to be a really crafty area back here where the clickers could turtle up. I don't know if it's back here. My buddy Spartan would know. It probably is back here because I don't see this being something they would ever get rid of. Uh, but we're about to find out. 
Yeah, it looks like it's back here. Yeah, the clickers can get back in that hole. And there's no way you can get back in here and get a shot without getting murdered by them. Uh, but yes, there's always going to be a clicker back there. Always. If they know what they're doing and they have played a clicker more than once, they're going to be back there. And there's dips and the brush over here and the cover. And this this area is is a lot more friendly. My buggy is rolling. There's a lot a lot more friendly to clickers in general. This is a really good spot just simply because you're kind of low beneath cover and what have you. Okay, so moving on. Now, once again, right flank, I'll start from the, I'll go right mid and then left. Your right flank is going to be your camping flank. You're always going to have the TDs uh, back in the back here. You're going to have the uh, mediums, lights, maybe even heavies. It doesn't really matter. Um, roll up here and right up there where rugby is you may have somebody up there as well um, but here's the thing if he gets spotted he is screwed they're gonna tee off on him he's gonna break his tank getting down from there I've seen it before um, if you are in a in a light or a fast medium you can kind of do the same thing that I was showing you on the other side kind of pull up to here and get a good spot in early on. We're 345 right there, which means if somebody's moving, you have a decent crew, we are going to spot them coming up. Then as soon as you get spotted, just kind of take off. Um, because you're going to have an army of tank destroyers behind you. And you may even have some heavy mediums. And like I said, it all depends on, you know, the wind. <laughs> oh, God. It, it really it depends on RNG because some folks may do what they're supposed to do and you know you may have three IS-7s camping at the base I can't call it nobody can now let's talk about the mid uh, the mid is a little like a, I'm I used to go mid all the time I don't anymore simply because the fact that they've opened this this abbey up so much that anybody in their spawn can just tee off on you with impunity because you're going to be too busy getting shot to return proper fire if we if we look at this abbey and we go up here you've got all kind of shots here you can turtle up here but the problem is you're going to have tank destroyers at their base with binos up so the second you pull out here they're going to spot you and you're just going to say, oh, bull, well, I'm going to be crafty. I'm going to go down here and do a button hook right. Okay, well, the second you get right here, they're going to spot you. Um, it, it's, you know, six of one, half dozen of the other. I mean, if we if we look at the cap right there, that's one, two, three, four. 400 meters, eh, you're a light tank. They're going to have binos. You're moving. You're going to get spotted. Uh, but I don't know. Who knows? You may not. You may be especially crafty. But the point is, is that if you come up here expect a fight because I have really seen people throwing tanks at each other trying to get a hold of the mid and I feel like no more shots than it gives you its tactical value is nowhere near as solid as it once was originally that is my professional opinion okay so let's go back down to the southern spawn the red cap and let's start over on the the primary push point which is if you are on the red side is going to be your left flank now this particular flank is good it it's if you are attacking if you're attacking this position it's very good for the simple fact that once you end up pushing everybody back you can pull up here on the top and folks who, you know, were going to be hauled down or turret down from guys down there are going to have no cover to you up here. So, just something to think about. Once again, you are going to have a number of tank destroyers in the back. Um, it, you know, and sometimes it ends up being the, the real crunchy ones as well. And you could have a variety of tanks up here. It, it's it's not necessarily limited by class you, you this is the primary push point things are going to go down up here uh, now what you have to be careful of mindful is 
you know once again right here you can fire directly into the middle depending on where you position yourself and depending on who else is up there but if you're in this position if you look at any of those locations if you look on the a line any of those locations I showed you clickers can tee off on you here so you can be working this corner you can be doing your business you can be taking shots you can be making it happen and you can get teed off on my clickers so just keep that in mind as well as if somebody knows what they're doing in the mid they can tee off on you as well I know that is a lot of information to take in a short amount of time but I just wanted to kind of get this out here so you guys know um, because I have really been meaning to do some map tactics for Abby for a while now uh, I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad I finally got this done if you guys have any questions please comment them below if you need anything just let me know and big shout out to the gent who reminded me to do this <laughs>